Hello and welcome back to the ninth episode of Kerbal Space Exploration. And to celebrate that uh, Dragon X capsule has docked to the International Space Station, we are sending our first Kerbals to the KSS with the Dragon X capsule. Yes, I have modded, or I haven't modded, but I downloaded a mod of the Dragon X capsule. And it's actually very great and looks really like the real one. It is absolutely beautiful and I think everybody should take a look at it. So yes, this is the Dragon X capsule. And it has some rockets for deorbiting, landing and orbit changes. And it has RCS thrusters and yes, it has everything you would need. It has the crew capacity of 7, but for right now I think it's 5 Kerbals in the Dragon X capsule. And we're just doing our normal launch and catch up to the station. And we get um, a little bit behind the station, but we are close enough that the Dragon X capsule can do the rest of the travel. So we just deorbit as normal sending it into the atmosphere to burn we like seeing stuff burn and in this hopefully very soon the developers will release uh, the after effects they have shown us on uh, their live stream on twitch uh, i will put a link to um, the live stream in the description for those of you ha that haven't uh, seen or been following the live stream, but they also announced it on Facebook. So yeah, you should like the Kerbal Space Program on Facebook to see what's coming up next. And we have approached the KSS and we start killing our relative velocity, testing those space engines or rocket engines to see how they work. And it looks very good and it's really an awesome capsule. Now, the only thing is that uh, the developer of this mod has put um, a little more fuel in the rocket that, uh, than is realistic uh, because he wanted to make it easy for new players to try the mod and he also said that, that the more experienced players know how to change the fuel capacity of their uh, vessels so they can change it to something that's closer to reality. I haven't done that yet, I haven't tested the capsule enough to see how much fuel I use. But after this uh, exercise uh, and when we land the crew again in the capsule, we will probably make some changes. So yes, we are approaching our KSS, which we probably should rename by now. We'll have to try to remember that to the next episode. I keep thinking about it when I record my voice, but I keep forgetting it when I'm playing. But yeah, uh, one thing I'll have to say I'm a little bit dissatisfied about the station is it's starting to get a little bit more lag heavy than intended. Because making each part, I was thinking, oh, I have to keep the mods to a minimum, and I did on each part. But combining many parts with different mods turns out, or I wouldn't, I should have known that, but I didn't think of it at the time that you, the whole station altogether has a lot of mods. So the mods are a little bit heavy to run. So, especially the solar panels and the uh, living space or living, uh, inflatable living uh, quarters we sent up in the last episode. Uh, but yeah, I'm making some uh, new designs for a new station in future on my iPad and I'm releasing the sketches on Twitter. Uh, so if you want to, you can follow me on Twitter and see the new designs. Uh, I will point out that I'm not a very good drawer, I'm not an artist, I'm just a normal guy that draws like he did in kindergarten. And um, yeah, I most of the time I just use my fingers when I'm uh, I get an idea for what I should do or I get something I would like. So uh, yeah, we docked to the Kerbal Space Station 
and uh, I'm very happy about that because I had forgotten to check if the docking port worked with stock uh, ports, but they did. And this is where I do, um, it's not a mistake, but it's compared to reality, it would be a mistake. Because I have installed the crew manifest that allows me to send Kerbals from one capsule to another. And I would th thought that uh, when I dock to the station, it would be natural to think they go through the hatch in the capsule into the living quarters and into the station or through some gateways in the station. But since I docked them to an outer docking port, which is mostly for transportation stuff, it wouldn't actually work because there's just struts there. So yeah, but I have done uh, off camera, you will see that in the next episode, I have done a little bit of rearranging on the station just because uh, I didn't like how it looked at the time. It uh, needed some small changes, so uh, I just rearranged some of the parts. It looks, it's not that big of a deal, I moved the tug and I straightened up the um, docking port and yeah I do some changes to the solar panels but not nothing big nothing interesting to watch so you'll see that in the next episode but yes this is a perfect uh, look of our stations uh, flying close to the Sun or seeing a sunrise but next thing is the we have to start mining for keythane. Uh that's the whole purpose of this is to get a refueling station in orbit to our deep space missions. So yeah, we're sending our Keythane probe. Uh, this rocket right now is called the Minmus Keythane probe. And I forget that while I'm playing. I'm playing and talking on Skype on the same time with a friend. And that's usually not a very good idea because you forget what you do. So this turns out to be the Mooner Keythane Probe. Uh, I have to rearrange it, that it's, or I have to rename it that. Because I forgot I was going to Minmus and I did the whole normal moon thing, uh, orbited around the moon, started to get a nice orbit, and then I was like, oh, damn it, I was going to Minmus. And yeah, I wasted so much fuel that it wasn't any point going, going to Minmus. So, We'll look at look for Keythane on the moon first. And the reason why I wanted to go to Minmus is that I think it might be more fuel efficient to travel between Minmus and the moon. I might be completely wrong, but I wanted to do a test because I know it's more fuel efficient to travel to Minmus, but I don't know if it's more fuel efficient to go back again. Uh, and since this is going to be uh, a refilling trip between the moon or Minmus to our KSS, it has to be fuel efficient because we want to keep as much fuel as possible in the tanks to bring to the space station. But yeah, we are now orbiting around the moon, doing our normal good orbits, doing some inclination changes, and I've gotten a lot better on inclination changes as I hope you can see. So for those of you that saw me sending up the um, the Mooner communications satellites, you saw that I almost crashed into the ground, and that was because I misunderstood how you did do the um, inclination changes. Uh, you have to point at the 90 degrees marker to your prograde at all times. So while you're pointing 90 degrees to your prograde, your prograde will move and change the inclination and while that is happening you have to move your heading so you're always pointing 90 degrees and I was pointing like 120 degrees so I lost velocity and almost crashed so yeah we are now warp um, not warping we are now orbiting around the moon and because we're using the small ion engine it takes quite a while to do this uh, I um, I do some orbit changes and I don't want to make this orbit perfect because I've done that a couple of times before uh, with testing the Keythane mod 
and found out that um, it if I get it ex or if I get it too perfect, the probe will just orbit the same places over and over again. Will just scan the same areas. So I wanted to make deliberately the orbit a little bit, a um, little bit different. So I go for an 85 uh, degree, or an yeah, an 85 degree inclination, and I do my periaps and apoaps with some, some, uh, some altitude difference. Uh, I could probably have done more uh, to get. Um, to get a more chaotic uh, orbit or better or more spread out scan but I want to keep the scans uh, I don't want it to scan the same place two times but I want it to scan right next to the same place the next time so I didn't want to have too big too big of a change to yeah so yeah that's our keythane mod our keythane probe searching for keythane around the moon and in the next episode, we will find out where the key thing is and probably start heading out. Hope you enjoyed this episode and the ep next episode will probably be a bit longer. Wearing Storm, signing off.